Reed Greven. Greven? Sorry if I mispronounce your name, Reed. Dr. S is helping me unlearn so much salesman BS. <laughs> well, you know, it's unfortunate because the, the people who spend a lot of time researching the, the topics in turfgrass science don't spend their time knocking on your doors trying to sell you stuff. I mean, they're dealing with students. They're dealing with committees and all sorts of stuff in the academic world where their time is just pulled all over creation. It's just, you just, I'm sure everybody's busy, but there's nothing on a TMP packet that says how many superintendents, how many sport turf managers did you go talk to today and how many did you sell them, you know, information that you published or how many lawn crop, you know, so because it's not part of the requirement for tenure and promotion, we don't go around and do that. We do it through conferences. We talk to people at meetings and things like that. But salesmen, they're out all the time. They'll see five or 10 customers a day. I'm, as, a, as a former assistant professor, I might see five or 10 customers, well, stakeholders, but maybe a month of that. So their impact is much, great, much greater because they're always in front of the customers. And because of that, there tends to be a little bit better of a relationship and that's all that works. Um, but you end up getting information that is not always evidence-based because the people doing it are, you know, in the field or in the lab doing the work and writing and publishing and working with students. It's a weird sort of dynamic where, you know, I was talking to my wife today. I can make a good case right now that I've had a greater impact in the last six months than I ever did as an assistant professor. And I can show you the metrics, which is what TMP um, committees at universities want to see. They want to know the metrics. How many people have you influenced? The success stories. I can pull up 15 um, com uh, comments right now in voicemails about people saying, Dr. Shaddix, you know, I used to do this. I saw your channel. Now I'm doing this and I'm saving so much money. That's a success story, which is extremely valuable to assistant professors when they're going for TMP. So I can make an argument to the TMP committees at these universities. In fact, I'll make one right now you really should start considering the manner in which people are receiving information. It's not the way it used to be at, at conferences and at meetings where you, you go and you talk to 20 people in a room. It's, that's not the way the majority of people are receiving the information now. People are receiving information similar to what we're doing right now today. You're sitting and we're having a conversation and you're, you're, you're in your living room or you're in your truck or you're working and you're listening to this on a podcast or whatever, this is the way we put people are receiving information. So if you're on, if you're TMP and you're looking at, is this professor actually having a beneficial impact on his industry, his or her industry, this sort of situation should be reconsidered because I can show you hard numbers of people that have listened to my podcast, success stories of people who have changed their behaviors because of this. And, um, I never was able to get hard data, th at least not this substantial when I was in academia.